watch you guys got another fix it video here for you this one is application was unable to start correctly with an error code and I'll show you what it looks like here you whatever program you try to open you're going to get this error box popping up now this is for word uh, but if it's for any other program that's the error box that you're going to get and basically it will just say either um, whether it be an antivirus program or Photoshop or whatever it is it will give you the same error code but a different type of fix so we're going to open up the registry editor and we're going to go through a bunch of fixes which you can do here so we're going to start off with HKey local machine and then we're going to go down to software here and then Microsoft we'll make sure we're on Microsoft so I'm just going to go down to Microsoft and then we want to come all the way down here so just come all the way down and we're looking for Windows NT here now these ones are already open so I'm just going to close these off and go to Windows NT once we've got Windows NT open I'm going to open up uh, Windows NT here and go current version there we go so drop that open now and then what we're going to do here is going to come all the way down and we're looking for Windows. Inside here, we're going to go over to the right hand pane here and look for load app init and underscore DLLS, and that's what we're looking for here. Now, you want to make sure when you click on this that it's set to zero. If it's on one, you need to make sure that is on zero. So, we're going to make sure that's on zero and click OK. Mine's already on zero, so we're going to move on to the next fix. So, the next fix we're going to go over to update and security on Windows settings and we're going to make sure that we've got all the latest updates for Windows make sure you're updated to the latest version and that's important there may be some uh, files that you need uh, to obviously install and that might be a reason why your program is not working properly your c.net framework up there is coming down and that's an update for that and sometimes that can cause issues and I'll talk about that a little bit later on in the video once you've got that done you can then restart the computer and update uh, that version of Windows now also here we're going to right click on the program and go properties here so whatever program it is that you're having trouble running so right click of it and go on the properties and then inside here we're going to go to compatibility now sometimes older programs might have trouble running and you might have this error coming up but run program in compatibility mode and you can choose the version of Windows which it used to work for so for instance Windows 7 you can select that to Windows 7 and apply an OK and then try to open that program and see if that resolves the problem that sometimes does fix a, a lot of problems with older programs so next one we're going to go over to the search box here and we're going to type control panel and we're going to go into control panel here uninstall a program now sometimes just even uninstalling the program or reinstalling it fixes and resolves the issue so go into say for instance programs and features and come down the list and find the program that you're having trouble with what you want to do is click on that program and click uninstall and then you can uh, reinstall it now sometimes you can do repair rather than uninstall say for instance office it will allow you to uh, uninstall it and click uninstall and then sometimes it gives you the options to repair rather than uninstall but you want to do a fresh install of that just in case there's any sort of issues with that program once you've done that uh, if you've got any sort of updates uh, that you've done on Windows so for instance if you've updated Windows and you've got an issue you can go to view installed updates maybe you've just up updated Windows and now your program is not working what you want to do is click on the latest updates that you've done and uninstall those updates because sometimes that can cause a problem maybe it's a bug or something like that you can uninstall the update that you've just done and roll that back to a previous version of when it was working and that sometimes uh, fixes the problem as well next up we're going to go into settings here inside here we're going to go into updating security again and then on the left hand side here we're going to go to recovery and you will see 
uh, something like go back to a previous version of Windows 10. Now, if you've done a big update and you want to roll back and because your program is not working or programs not working, rather than reinstall Windows, you can use this feature if it's available to you. Sometimes this will be disappeared and that's because the option has now passed and you won't be able to roll back to a previous version. But if you want to do that, you can do and sometimes that resolves the issue. Next up, we're going to go into MS Config and we're going to go in here and we're going to go into the boot tab and go into safe mode and test to see whether that program opens and whether it works properly. Next hit the services tab and then hide all Microsoft services and click disable all. And then once you've done that, you can then go to the startup tab here and hit the startup tab. And what you want to do is remove all of the startup items here. Click open task manager here and then remove all of the enable status for the startup programs. This is just to make sure to see whether this resolves the problem. Now, sometimes if you don't want to go to safe mode, you can boot back to the desktop doing a clean boot and basically do the same thing, hide all of the Microsoft services and disable all of the startup tabs. And then basically what you're trying to do there is enable one program at a time. So if one of them programs is causing a problem, like say, for instance, antivirus software or stuff like that, then you can also try it. But try it from safe mode as well to see whether the program will actually open. If it opens, then there's something stopping it from opening properly. And that could be related to malware or other problems with that program. So to go back, you can click in here in the search box and type MS config and then open this up and then go to the boot options here and take out the tick on safe boot go to normal startup and of course inside here you can start to enable all of the programs one by one until you find the culprit which is causing the problem and obviously restart the system each time it does take a bit of time next thing we're going to make sure that all of the software is updated on of our system so for instance you can use patch my pc updater this will run a scan on your system and basically tell you what is outdated on your system. And it's always good to keep this all updated. So running this tool will basically run a scan on your PC and scan for all the software and tell you what is outdated and what needs to be updated. You can just select which uh, software you want to update and click on the update button and it will update all your software in one fell swoop. Next up, you can also check the .NET, make sure which ones are installed and which ones need to be updated and installed. This little program is pretty nifty. It lets you download all of the .NET frameworks that you need and what that program may need to be installed on the systems. Now, some older programs need older versions of the .NET framework to get working properly, and you can use that download button and it will download these from Microsoft and you can then install them. It's very quick and easy to do. And if you want to go onto the internet yourself, you can put in the .NET Framework version that you want to download, type that in Google and download it from Microsoft if you want to do that. Next up is updating your graphics drivers and making sure that you've got the latest graphics drivers installed for whether it's a, an AMD graphics card or whether it is an NVIDIA graphics card. You can go to their websites and download the, the correct version for your graphics card. Now, sometimes Windows will install uh, a graphics driver for you, but going to the main manufacturer's website is always the best way to get the latest and greatest drivers. And you can use their site to download whatever version of graphics card driver that you need. Once you've got that downloaded and installed, sometimes that does resolve an issue and that covers all of the updating of your drivers, Windows updates and software it's important that you do that. Now also you want to, might want to check your system for malware because sometimes malware can stop programs from running and you may want to use something like one of these free pieces of software like Malwarebytes, ESET Online Scanner. You can always download this and use this for free and run a scan on your system. Hitman Pro, you can use the uh, trial period for this for 30 days. So if you've used this before, you're not going to be able to use it again if you've gone past that 30 days, but you can always use that 30 days for a quick scan and ADW cleaner to remove any sort of adware or junkware and spyware from your computer system. If malware or spyware has been detected on your system, you will need to run a bunch of different scans and I've made videos on that so you can go and follow one of those videos. 
Also go down to the search box here, type CMD and run this as administrator. This is a command prompt box here and when you can do a scan for SFC space forward slash scan now and this will run a check on your system to make sure the operating system is running correctly and it's not corrupted in any way shape or form if you have got sort of corruption on there you may need to do other work on your operating system to get it up and running properly the way it should be this comes back all clean you should be pretty much good to go but basically they are the things that you will have to do to try and resolve this error and this problem is pretty common and of course it will happen to any program so it doesn't have to be uh, office that you see me using there or word it could be any other program that you're trying to run and you get that same error code you'd follow those procedures to try and resolve it it's pretty straightforward and easy to do when you know how so i hope this one's been useful to you my name has been brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk i shall see you again for another video tomorrow thanks again for watching bye for now now if you haven't subscribed yet hit the red subscribe button and hit the bell notification button and click all to be notified when we upload new videos.